what's up everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is a very exciting fall winter pattern haul so i just picked up some patterns from hobby lobby so kind of the backstory in that i was like man i really haven't bought patterns in a long time you know because of covid i'm staying at home a lot more um just using the stuff that i have here and not really buying that much stuff um so i was like I wonder if their fall winter line of patterns has come out yet um, because I don't really exclusively follow um, and watch or if they have you know release dates or whatever for these new patterns and pattern books to come out but I do like to buy patterns seasonally of course when they're on sale for $1.99 because that is the absolute best price you'll get for a pattern so I was looking at Joanne's website and I was like wow the patterns are the patterns are on sale um let me see if hobby lobby's patterns are on sale because hobby lobby is a lot closer to where i live and generally if joanne's has the patterns on sale hobby lobby also has the patterns on sale so they were they're on sale for 199 which like i said before is a absolute steal of a deal because generally patterns like this one this is 21 dollars and so $1.99, that's like a crazy, crazy discount um, to where you can buy a ton of patterns, kind of stock up, and not have to buy patterns for a long, long time. So that's kind of what I did today. So I kind of wanted to show you some of the patterns that I got, as well as kind of show you some of the new fall, I don't know if it was fall, winter, or if it's just fall, um, patterns that McCall's has. Because McCall's is like generally my favorite pattern company to buy from so usually whenever the McCall's patterns are on sale that's what I go for just because a lot of their patterns are kind of the vibe of sewing I like to sew I guess if that makes sense it's kind of my aesthetic in that sense um and so that's why I generally look for McCall's patterns on sale so all the patterns I bought today are McCall's patterns <laughs> so for this first one it is McCall's 8139. It's kind of this simple-ish shirt dress um, buttoned down in a really cool collar um, shirt dress, which I don't think I have anything like this. I think I have a lot of things similar to this um, and a lot of things I could alter to get it towards this, but nothing exclusively like this. Um, so of course I bought it for this look, the look that the model is wearing, that's typically kind of what I gravitate towards is the one that I can actually see on a person um, because like a line drawing can, well, like an artistic drawing can make it look a lot different than what it will actually look like in real life. Um, so that's this one. You can see this look on the back. It is view A, so just a really cool, and then if I wanted to also add sleeves to it, or there's an option with pockets on the butt, or an option with a kind of like tie waist. Um, so yeah, I got it for this pattern. The next one is McCall's 8150. I love this skirt. Um, I got it for view B this one it's kind of this like four tier skirt which i think is really cool i've seen two tier a lot but not really four tier but i can imagine that doing the hem on this is kind of could be a pain but i think this is really cool and i like kind of how elegant it turned out because you could um use a different fabric and make it pretty casual or use the kind of fabric that she did and make it elegant so this is the four tier one this is three tier and that's two tier so I like the four tier, but I also really like the three tier look. That's definitely something I could see myself wearing and making either it be like a out of silk and be like really cool and wear it, you know, to Christmas or make it out of like a cotton blend and something casual that I could wear. Um, so then I did go ahead and grab another skirt pattern, which is McCall's 8068. And this is kind of a basic pencil skirt. Um, and then as it gets longer, it gets more flowy pattern. Um, and it's also interesting if you are a beginner to sewing, this is a learn to sew level one. So something that I would recommend definitely for beginners, but also, you know, if you just like it the way it looks and like me, who's not a beginner, but I'll still buy it. Um, so I'm really trying to go for finding the perfect skirt pattern, 
Um, cause you know, sometimes you have a vision in your head and that's what you want to make, um, and sew and wear, but you can't, the patterns that you use, there's like slight, slight details and you can alter them of course, but if you want like a go-to great pencil skirt pattern, that's kind of what I'm trying to find. So hopefully this one will do it for me. Um, if not, I really like this flowy skirt. Um, and here are the lines drawing on the back. The next pattern I got was McCall's 8138. This is a Learn to Sew Level 2, um, which I guess is something new that they're doing or something I just haven't heard of. Um, but I really, really love this dress. I love the length of it. Um, and I also like the little zip thing right here. I've done a shirt with two buttons, but I haven't ever put a like front center zipper in, in any type of like upper um garment so i think it'll be really interesting to do a front zip and then i like the dress um it also kind of looks pretty elegant but that's just the fabric they used um so i think i could make something cool out of it and i like this neck too so you can see right here um i like the turtleneck kind of look too so i think overall this is a really cool pattern and has a lot of versatility next pattern as you know from my recent obsession with sewing pants i'm looking for the perfect pair of pants as well so this is mccall's 6901 and i think this is a pattern that's been in stock for a while but this is my first time noticing it um so this is kind of the fit that i'm kind of going for kind of like more of like a straight leg fit than like you know a, a flare or anything too tight i just kind of want this straight leg fit effect but also getting um the details like the pocket the front fly zipper and wanting those darts to really kind of shape to my body um so i think this could be cool i've been wanting this kind of fit of a pant so i could use multiple fabrics um that i have in my stash because i have a lot of cool prints and unique fabrics that I want to use but I don't want it, the pant to be too tight to where it kind of limits the fabrics based on like you know what the fiber of the fabric is that I can use so I want something that I can use kind of a range of fabrics on um so something kind of like this is kind of what I was going for so hopefully this fits um this pattern is also pretty cool because it's really um size inclusive it goes from a 8 to a 24 so that's like a huge size range and this pattern is like super bulky compared to the other patterns um just because it does have a huge size size range that it also fits so that's pretty cool too and it's labeled easy which definitely want an easy pattern okay so two left both shirt patterns this one i know is a new pattern for their new collection it is McCall's 8144 and I got it because of this look um I think this neckline is super cool and um I don't really come across a lot of these lighter um top weight fa fabrics so I'll have to be careful about what fabric I use for this but I think I have a handful of fabrics that I could use something like a um gauze that I have or you know something like <laughs> something like that that's the only fabric that can come to mind right now but something super light and airy um but also this pattern is cool because of the different sleeves that you can make with it so you kind of get this like flare and then kind of one that goes into a cuff and then just kind of a normal sleeve so I really like this pattern but especially especially for this look and then finally the last pattern I was a little hesitant on buying this because I was like I don't know if I would ever really make this but part of me is like yes you would make this so it's just kind of a basic well I guess I'll tell you the number first it's McCall's 8070 and it's just kind of a basic looking um like crew neck sweatshirt or you could do one with a hood and then this one has like the pocket in the front of the sweatshirt that you could also do so i think the only difference between a and b is the front pocket but i like this a lot because i like to wear 
um, something like this a lot, especially this time of the year. It's something you can just kind of throw on and be really, really comfortable in. But it also kind of goes with my sweatpants, fuzzy socks vibe that I have going for online and staying at school. I just totally said that backwards. Online school and staying at home. So I was like, I'm kind of wearing a lot of shirts in crew neck and you know sweatshirts that look like this so why not get a pattern and make something like this that will remind me of this crazy time so yeah this is McCall's 8070 that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so so much for watching um let me know if you you've ever used any of these patterns before and have any um suggestions or recommendations or what your favorite pattern is and something that you would sew with it. Um, other than that, I will talk to y'all later.